it's time for the Captain Toad Treasure Tracker review for the Wii U. Yes, I am aware of the Switch version of this game and that it has more content to offer, but I just decided to review the original. Is it worth its weight in gold? Let's find out. As I'm writing this review, I believe this will be one of my shortest reviews due to the content quantity offered in this title. Toad stars in his own game, which was actually based on a minigame within Super Mario 3D World. Toad isn't the only playable character though, as a healthy amount of levels star Toadette. There is a story to this game, but it's pretty basic, and I honestly don't need to give a synopsis. The level selections are in book form, with three chapters consisting of a little over 50 levels total. There are also bonus levels unrelated to the main story of the game. The point of each level is to guide Toad through obstacles and evade enemies, all the while gathering three diamonds hidden throughout and eventually to the single power star. The catch is, you cannot jump and will instead have to find the correct path to take to reach the power star. Toad can defeat enemies by jumping on their head or throwing turnips or other enemies at one another, but battling isn't the core objective and is usually optional for most levels. The level itself is the main puzzle, and you'll have to work with controlling Toad and the camera almost simultaneously. You're able to freely rotate the camera 360 degrees, as well as being able to tilt it fairly far. The camera never follows Toad, so it's up to you to angle the camera so you can not only see Toad, but possible secret paths and areas of each level. Most diamonds aren't too difficult to retrieve, however some take a bit of thinking power to figure out. When you complete a level, you'll see your diamonds you collected, plus, if you are able to accomplish the bonus task within each specific level, you'll get a check mark next to that objective. The bonus task isn't revealed until you complete the level, and it's fun trying to figure out what it could be when you first start. Collecting every diamond isn't necessary, but specific levels are locked and you won't be able to proceed with the story until you acquire enough. The graphics look identical to Super Mario 3D World, and that's because it's running on the same game engine. Nothing to complain about here. The controls are fairly basic, and that's a good thing. This type of game doesn't need complicated controls. You can zoom in and out on Toad, however I wish there was a medium shot option. You either get a close up or a wide shot, and having a medium shot could have been helpful in certain situations, but overall, not having it didn't cripple the game. Some levels change things up by allowing you to go into first person mode and shoot turnips around the area. Just like Super Mario 3D World, some levels allow for the touchscreen to be used in the case of moving around platforms or spinning your finger around to have your character adjust valves. The music has that charming Mario feel to it, which, although expected, is still pleasant to hear. There are a few boss fights, er, well, levels that feature a boss in where the main focus is navigating through the level, but with the added pressure of a huge enemy attacking. They're pretty fun, and my only complaint is that there were too few of them. The levels don't really start to get difficult until the latter half of Chapter 2. Some can get quite frustrating, but it's nice the whole game isn't a cakewalk. Amiibo functionality is available, and while I don't have a Toad Amiibo to test out, you can use other Amiibo to gain extra lives, which were quite useful near the end of the game. Part of the bonus content was surprisingly creative and fun. If you have save data of Super Mario 3D World, you could venture through certain levels of the game as Toad. Unfortunately, you couldn't become Cat Toad, but the levels have been altered a bit so that Toad and his lack of jumping can get through. There's a large assortment of these levels and helps increase the overall fun the game offers. While not a huge game by most standards, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker offers around 4-6 to six hours of main story gameplay, and you can get more out of it with the bonus content, and even more still if you're dedicated enough to find all the diamonds and complete every bonus task. The Mario charm is here, but the Toads are the heroes, and I'd say this game is worth it if you can get it for under $20. What started as a minigame is now a fun, full game on its own. This game gets a 3.75 out of 5, with the title of Good.